Take the bike and meet me at the car wash round the way. All right, drive safe. Man, I can't hang with your ass for a while, bro. You a psychopath. You done finally fucking lost it. Nigga, that's that Apache blood in me, homie. You ain't lucky I ain't do a flying tomahawk and scalp they motherfucking ass. We can't repo the assets of a dead man, big sitting chief asshole. Nigga, and we ain't going to neither, nigga. I'm gonna keep this motherfucker for myself. Tell Simeon we couldn't recover. You fucking tell him, you fucking moron! You're a racist. What? What? You don't like me because you think that I am an Arab. What? No. What are you talking about? Excuse like me. That. Wait. That oh, wait, boy. I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James DeSanta. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. Huh? Just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Yeah. Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? So, Mr. Kenneth, were we at uh, financing?
Change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, man, me and Lamar was gonna get that back to you, dog. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. This is your partner, Big Boy. Now listen, stay with me now. Don't you die, homie. Don't. You die on me.
It's just because you have a massive gaper, bitch. <laughs> Fucking homo, you're dead. Dad! He said I had a massive... Jimmy called me a bitch! He tried to knife attack me? No one creeps on the J-Dog, my niggas. Oh my god, seriously? My brother is such a homo. I think he has a medical problem. Like, more medical problems than the ones he's already been diagnosed with. <laughs> Thank you, coach. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real pro. Well, you're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Okay, like this? Yeah, loosen them up. There you go. And follow through. Perfect. Oh, okay. I think I'm getting it. Hey, Simeon, I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. That's a 9mm semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Huh? Well, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. The guy was behind on the fucking note. Unlikely, considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, you're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dog, by the name of Simeon Terry. So this businessman, he looked legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. Jess up here. Okay. Stop the car. Pull up. Some people have all the money in the house. The rest of us just That the place? Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man, fuck my life, man. Fuck it. Do it. Can't wait to see the next episode of Duty Dog this weekend. Oh shit! Franklin! What the fuck are you doing? Mr. Samuel, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. You motherfucker! Simeon Yaterian doesn't back down from anybody. Bottom feeder! You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist! I'll tell you something. 
This thing's gonna need some serious body work before it's worth five grand a month. Ah, he agreed to financing I have his signature. Yeah, did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot, but you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Oh. Don't make me have to come back here. Say again? How the fuck we get fired? Man, it was partly all that bullshit you pulled, and partly the repos old man making me crash the car into the dealership. Ha! <laughs> you the crazy ass motherfucker in this partnership. You better spend them while you got them. Yeah, if you say so. <laughs> you see, man. Hey, man. Hey, what's cracking, homie? Man, they put up another deals and dollar store down the road. I don't know how killing family business is going to make the neighborhood safer. Where else can you shop around here if that's all there is? Look, man. Look! Yeah. You were like a son to me. Employee of the month. Does that mean nothing to you? And the dude had a gun in my head. No loyalty. No integrity. You should have taken the bullet. My business, my totally legitimate business. You are fucked, my boy. Fucked.
What do you want? Man, I come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. What? Uh, you're here, whatever. Sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a bit young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? You know, I've been in this game for a lot of years. And I got out alive. That makes me the right age. <clears throat> you look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, you give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you can rip people off and get paid for it. It's called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like, when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? What you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, and today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? No. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. i tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. There's a little bar I like. <sighs> it's not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. We're taking my wife's car. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. Dad, with... shit. I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's... it's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're insane. All right, I'm coming for my boat. All righty then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. Mire, mi muchacho me llegó más rayado que una cuadera ahí de El Este de Los Angeles. Y es que tengo miedo que con esas garras. Lesson number one. Don't ever have kids. Hey, man, look. If I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had both privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in a bathtub. Shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, but, you know, shit, I was making a point. Mythologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the Western Highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? Yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipperware motherfucker? Because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. So I'm gonna help you get this boat back, right? That you are, my friend. in a fucking hurry, man. Yeah, well, we'll catch him. We got a plan? Sure. Once I get us up close, you're the boarding party. More like the falling in traffic party. You'll be fine. If anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh, yeah, man, fine. 
just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you want to learn the old way of doing things. This is the old way. Oh, fuck this! Ah! Too close! For the love of God, please stop! Ah! Crap! Oh, fuck! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Ah, shit! Yes! Get oh my ass. god! Get him off my ship! Oh, they didn't! They fucking shot the engine! Fuck! Oh, easy with those bricks! Don't you hurt my boy! Shit, don't find him! Knock it up, you thieving prick! Hey, shoot this motherfucker! Hey, this dude's trying to kill me, man! My hey, ain't you him! Me. Son. Hey, it's a chop shop back there, dog. We drive us there, we can get the ride fixed. My boat. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen, I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. But shit, Dad, I nearly died, and all you give a shit about is this fucking boat! No, it's not that, it's... All we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Or, it's not, but it's partly your fault. I... I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look. I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Frank, do you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after he fix this thing? I want to headbutt the road in peace. Oh, great! Leave me with the home invader! I'll get it done, dog. No problem. Dad! Enough. All right. Enough. Franklin, do me a favor. Call me a taxi, will you? No problem. Up there, uh, go left. Hey, I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thank you. Hey, so you, uh, do much yachting? Not anymore, no, I don't. Before, I mean, man. No, not, not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have many other people to go with, you know? I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at her. Jacqueline. It'd clear my head, you know, let me dream. Jacqueline, huh? Well, maybe you need to do some other shit to fill your time. Dream other dreams, man. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name How. He gonna look after me. All right, take what's in my pocket. A couple thousand bucks. That'll cover it, right? Yeah, it should be cool. Good.
So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. Right. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man, and drop it back off at your house along with this dude. It's all good, though, man. You go and get your head right, all right? All right, listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? So, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man. Let's trick this whip, homie. Some night moves out there? Let's hear some Bob Seeker. It's a little too tall. Could have used a few pounds. We're gonna trick this whip or what? Still need to get you out for one of the races, Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. Like Recondition. Sweet. Are you trying to think of like the sickest ride that's even conceivable? home now it's Franklin right yeah Franklin all the credit for our guy the home invader you know what call me what you like man yeah I, I, no I, I mean sure Jimmy ain't he? or James Jimmy or just like Jizzle <laughs> no man I'll just stick with Jimmy homie so uh what's the deal man huh Are you and my old man I see you at the dealership then someone steals my whip, and Papa's all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully. Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. <sighs> man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well... Well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separate. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. <sighs> yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. I've been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh... I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? Nah, not since the first cup. Okay. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on? Strip clubs? Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit, I need it, man, but uh... Hey, hey you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, man. My brother from another mother. I mean... I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See ya. Yeah, whatever, homie. Peace. for the Exorbio 720 gaming system. Some video games are set in hell, others in post-apocalyptic wastelands. Now, there's a shooter set in the most culturally terrifying place in the world, the South. Hey, I'm gonna have some fun with you, boy. Pride, not prejudice. Commit farmyard sodomy, make drugs, drink grain alcohol, and drive at high speed. Mow 
down commies, eat pigs and foreigners, save the South against liberals, land prospectors, and out homosexuals in a place that's hot as the sun and swarming with disease-carrying insects. Pride, not prejudice. The shooter we've all been waiting for. Only for the Exorbio 720 gaming system. Weasel News. Car carnage in Pillbox Hill. An upsurge in armed ATM robberies has locals concerned. Devin Weston by Stacey Richards Majestic. Is I find street map sharing pics of you on the toilet. A car dealership in Pillbox Hill was destroyed when a joyrider smashed into the showroom. Premium Deluxe Motorsport has come under investigation for loan scams and high interest rate financing. But the owner, Simeon Mutarian, assured police that this incident was purely an accident and not a disgruntled hey, customer. One man witnessed the carnage. It was crazy as hell. That dude must have been tweaking. I know I am. You got a washing machine I can take apart? Following a spate of robberies at ATM machines across Los Santos, the LSPD has issued an official warning, urging citizens to stay alert, afraid, and mistrustful of anybody who doesn't look like them. Los Santos prominent financial guru and investor Devin Weston made a typically unexpected move yesterday. Just as conventional wisdom is moving out of movies in general, and Vinewood Studios in particular, Mr. Weston bought a significant stake in story but under fire mini-major Richard's Majestic. Head of production, Solomon Richards, son of legendary founder David Richards, welcomed Mr. Weston onto the board. Technology News. Web juggernaut iFind is sending cars with sophisticated cameras to take pictures of every street and house in America, including images of the inside of your home. CEO Trip Hammer says that having every home and its content searchable is the future. This is the future. Privacy rights advocates were booed by liberal activists who feel everything should be online, free, and searchable. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. You ready? No dry humming or dry snitching. You are on 1061. Bye for that. Radio Los Santos. Catch me, I'm on too fast on the gas, don't chase me. Slow down. Slow down. Hey Franklin, why don't you come over here and let me take care of that lonely ass? Slow down. Slow down. I tell him, slow down. Slow down. Slow down. I tell him, I'm on the case getting sideways. 